Hello, dear friends. Uh, we are continuing our basketball manager's course, and uh, this week is seventh week. And uh, regarding to particularly important, uh, let's say, subject of basketball, is, is basketball league, and uh, management, and and the league, and basketball club is is three key uh, parts that should interact and work very well. So in that point, uh, I'm, I'm really happy uh, to present our speakers. Uh, first speaker is Bindo Gazgopikas, uh, really very much experienced guy. Uh, first of all, from practical side, been working for a long time in Basketball Federation of Lithuania, been also working uh, for Baltic Basketball League. From another side, uh, very experienced scientist and uh, been studying in Canada, in France, in Lithuania, of course, and now giving lectures about uh, basketball management. So he his particular focus is on uh, league's development, on on league league's work, and uh, in this uh, case we will analyze the global uh, case, let's say uh, subjects and and global case studies uh, as example of league development. Of course, we we should take uh, uh, North America leagues and uh, different sports, not only basketball, but he he will uh, talk about basketball, but. In, in about basketball as well, uh, beside all, all, all other leagues. But uh, in this point, uh, uh, for us, uh, the purpose uh, to build an understanding about uh, how revenues, uh, how uh, value of the league, and how the league helping to grow its subjects, basketball clubs. So he will clearly explain uh, how it works. And I believe that European uh, basketball league is going exactly this way. Not uh, Asian leagues are still still struggling because we've been working for with with Asian Basketball League, uh, which uh, uh, South uh, East more, let's say region, uh, with CBA a little bit, uh, but CBA is, is different. I can say environment. Uh, Japan League, ba Japan Basketball League is, is going uh, more or less this, this way, uh, which uh, Mindogas will be talking and so on. So. Uh, for Europe, I believe, uh, very much important to understand uh, what uh, uh, environment need to be created for, for the league growth and the same for the uh, main fundamental of the league club uh, growth. And second uh, speaker, exactly, the EuroLeague, uh, one of the senior uh, directors, uh, Richard Stokes, uh, who has... Uh, experience not only working for uh, leagues but also for FIBA and FIBA Europe so he can talk from different uh, prospects but now he's uh, uh, executive of uh, EuroLeague so he'll talk about uh, coaches department but uh, we will take let's say one piece from big league just to, sh to show how it is managed because besides the marketing be besides uh, all the communication side and so on uh, referees uh, and in the league, in the Euroleague referees, I believe, uh, developed in, in, in really good way. And um, it made some, uh, a little bit confusion uh, in, in, in national championships because, you know, all this conflict between FIBA and, and Euroleague and so on. But uh, I believe this uh, shows how seriously is taken every single department in the serious league. And uh, Dave, uh, Richard will explain very clearly uh, how it works. So, reflection form. I'm getting. Thank you very much. Uh, you are really uh, excellent doing this job. And uh, guys, seven days uh, to go. Uh, I'll meet you next Thursday. Have a nice morning. Bye.